everyone, it's me again. See, over this semester, I've had really giant breaks between my classes because of a hilarious story about me not actually getting registered and not finding out that I wasn't actually registered until the day before classes started. So I've got four hour breaks on Mondays and Wednesdays and five hour breaks on Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I only have one class on Fridays. So I've had to entertain myself. And while I'm sure these breaks will come in handy during nano, right now they get kind of annoying. I could use them for productive things like school or I could get a job. Um, but no, no. Instead I've been using them to draw songs. Like I'll take a line from a song and I'll illustrate it. And it usually, um, it usually has something to do with the song as a whole, even though, and even though I only draw specifically one part of the song. I'll show you them real quick. There's that one, and that one, and that one. That one's sideways. And that one, which is also sideways. And that one, which is not sideways. And that one. And this one. Um, and this one. And this one. Talk about this one real quick. You can't see it very well, but I'll link to it on DeviantArt in the doobly-doo. Um, this one is actually an illustration of a song that Chris Rowley wrote, and Chris Rowley is a YouTube musician. He goes by Zap. So, check out that song. The past couple of days, I've been uploading all of those to DeviantArt. Because unlike most of my drawings, I don't hate them with a fiery passion. And so I decided to let people who aren't close friends or relatives see them. And I had the very so shocking notion when two people favorited one of them within five minutes of its uploading. And I was like, whoa, that was weird. Alright, and it occurred to me that I really like Creative Commons. I like Creative Commons because my drawings, I don't expect people to pay any money for them. I don't think they're that good. But I hope people like them enough to want to... I don't know what you do with pictures. Put them, Print them off and put them on their wall, I guess. Or use them as a background or something. You know, whatever people do with pictures on the internet. But the main reason I like Creative Commons is... And I'm, I'm sure there are actual important things that it does, but... The main reason I like Creative Commons... It's because it has a nice name. I think names are important. Like this cat I have here. Her name is Marmalade. Because she's orange. When I first met this cat, my sister picked her up at church as a stray. And I met the cat before, uh, by, well, she's by herself. And I thought she was a boy. Because I have this notion that orange tabbies are generally boys. I don't remember if that's correct. But I wanted to call her, I wanted to call her Dorado, because one of my favorite movies is the road to El Dorado. And I'm pretty sure it means it has something to do with gold. And orange is kind of a goldish color. Meow. But now I can't picture this cat as anything but marmalade. Creative Commons is a nice name for something that basically means you can share it. It makes me think of a smoky pub where everybody knows each other and the bartender knows you drink. Um, I don't know if pubs like that actually exist. I have this vague notion that they do. Like the old haunt in Castle. But all the people, but all, the only people there are creative people and cool people. Artists and people who like art. People who are creative. Hence, Creative Commons. By the way, if any of you want to start a art-themed pub, name it that. Or whatever you want to name it. Well, and that's all I wanted to say. I'll see you when I choose to come back. Bye!